All right, so yesterday we poured that ramp there, and uh, this is the front porch here. There's the front door, and uh, we got these stupid steps. See that top one there is only a couple inches wide. It's just stupid. And then there's a huge drop, um, and then there's another step which is a little short, but it's not very high either. So it's like you'd think they would have been able to split the difference. At any rate, we're going to put in a ramp. So we got a piece of wood over here. We got uh, that piece of wood there. It's going to go over there, and then we'll pour another ramp here so we can get Grandma out the door down here cross over here to that ramp and then out of the car so that's where we're at all right so yesterday we used these posts here uh, to hold the form in place uh, but over here we're not going to use any of those first off there's no place to uh, pound the post in because we're we've got a concrete porch here uh, so we got some 50 pound bags of sacrete here and uh, those are going to retain the form on this side and of course this side we got the brick house but I'm still using a form I, I could just pour the concrete but I'm using a form that way uh, I've got a, a measure of how far up the concrete should be to keep the, the ramp level and plus um, I'm kind of concerned if I attach a bunch of concrete to that wall uh, if the house shifts and stuff uh, it could uh, create some stress and cause the brick to crack so uh, so the the board being in there will allow the the porch to float a little bit more easily against that brick wall I don't know if that's a real concern but in my mind it is so uh, we're gonna go ahead and leave that that uh, piece of plywood in there uh, and then we'll just caulk across the top of it to seal it up so that uh, keep the bugs and stuff out of that that void so time to get mixing some concrete
gonna call that one done. Let that set up for a couple hours and we'll hit it with the broom. That's the same thing we did with this one. You notice yesterday it ended as a, yesterday this ended as smooth and we hit it with the broom uh, to give it a little bit of groove and texture so that uh, you don't slip on it, especially during the winter. And uh, we'll do the same thing with this one over here after it's set up for a couple hours. Uh, test it, hit it with the broom, give it a little bit of texture. Plus it'll cover up my, uh, my troweling marks there. Because uh, I do things I'm not an expert at. And we got Laura over there cleaning out the uh, mixer. Like a good wife should. <laughs> 